Schema Markup. Well, it's been around for a while now and it's used by many of the top publications online. Now, how can you use Schema Markup to help your website grow and get more traffic? Well, you need to make it as easy as you can for Google to know what your content is all about. And that's what Schema Markup does. So in today's video, I'm just gonna briefly go over a tool or a plugin that you can use to implement Schema Markup on your website and I'll show you a real live example of how I'm using it on one of my websites. So, let's get into this. So what is Schema Markup and how can you implement it on your website? Well, in a nutshell, Schema Markup is a code or a piece of structured data that helps decipher the information on your content into a language that search engines can understand. Basically, imagine a website in a foreign language and you're trying to understand what that article is about and you can't read it because it's in that foreign language. Well, if somebody came along and translated it for you, bing, light bulb goes on and you go, ah, I get it now. I know exactly what your content is about because I can now read the information on that page. And that's basically what schema markup is. It allows the search engines to understand clearly what exactly is in your content and your intention for that. Now I'm gonna give you a real basic example. Imagine you've got an article and it's all about a product. Let's say the camcorder that I'm using now. And you write a lovely in-depth article that has 2000 written words and you may have made a video about the camcorder as well and embedded that onto your page. So if you put some schema markup on there, you could add two types of schema markup. One schema markup for products to say this is a product focused post. And then the second you would add is a video schema markup. Again, to say to Google, hey Google, I've written a great piece of content and there's also a video about it on that page. Now we know over the past few years, it's been very difficult for Google to crawl and index all the pages. It's often getting a little bit confused and bamboozled by all the information that's out there and it struggles to index it quickly and in the right place. So what Schema Markup can do for you, it can just give Google that little edge to say, hey, this is what my content is all about. Now that can only be a good thing in my eyes. Now, if you're not very technical like me, you might be wondering how can you implement schema markup on your website? And in the past, I must admit, it was a little bit confusing and a little bit more technical than it currently is today. So I am not a big user of SEO tools like Rank Math, but it can actually come in very handy because you can implement schema markup in Rank Math. So why don't we jump over to the computer now and I'll show you inside one of my websites where I've installed Rank Math and I can demonstrate to you how you can implement it on your website. Now this isn't a paid promotion, I have no affiliate link or association with Rank Math and there are probably many other tools out there that you can implement the schema market with. But Rank Math seems to be one of the most popular tools being used, therefore I thought that's the best way to show you an example on a real life website. So let's head over to the computer now and we'll take a look. Okay, so the example I'm gonna to use to show you how to install Schema Markup is using the Rank Math SEO plugin. And I'll leave a link in the description for this uh, information sheet that they've provided. And you see here, it gives you a full in-depth review of what it is and how to install it. Okay, so I'm gonna take it that you've already got the Rank Math SEO plugin installed and you can see there it's active on this website. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you in a post exactly the settings that I use and how you can see if they're actually working in the right manner. So if you look here on the right hand side, you can see we have a number of articles here and these are all about a particular type of hamster and a birdcage and it's made by the same company. So this is clearly a product review and you can see here, preview 528 hamster cage review. And if you look over in the right hand side, you can see that we have got schema turned off. So there is currently no schema, no code on here that tells Google, hey, this is all about a product. And you can see further down, we have the wrong schema setting on this one. So again, this is a product, but the schema that's activated on this is for a blog post for general information. And we do have an FAQ schema markup, which has been installed using the Gutenberg 
block. Now, that is good, but again, it's the wrong setting. It is a product. And again, if we have a look at the next one, you can see here, schema is turned off. Next one, schema is turned off. And the next one again says it's an article. But if we look, how much do parrots cost? That is an article. So we're okay with that. But the top four here either are not switched on at all or they're in the wrong settings. So how you would quickly do this is just go in and edit your post. And with the Rank Math plugin, you simply go to the toggle here under the Rank Math setting. Click this and it says here you can configure your schema markup for your page. Now, I must say, if you use the free version of Rank Math, then you are going to have limited schema available. Now, what I mean by that is you're only going to be able to implement one at a time on your page. If you would like to implement multiple schema markups, you're going to have to purchase the pro plan. So I just use the basic plan and I'm just going to demonstrate here. So you can see at the moment we can select any one of these. Now, we just said that ours is a product, so I would tick the product schema markup here, and you can see it's going to add the actual rank math rich snippet code and everything we need for a product. Save post, and we have now, as you can see on the right hand side, implemented schema markup as a product. Now, why would you possibly need the pro version? Well, that would be to install multiple schema markups. So if we had this article written, which is a product, and we've got it marked up as a product, we may add a video. And then we're going to want to say to Google, hey, Google, this is a product. Hence, I've got the product schema. But I also want to tell you that it has a video. Now, as you can see, with the basic function, I can only select one of these. Whereas with a pro version, you would be able to select two. And in fact, if you had something like a, a recipe, uh, or you're trying to sell a recipe book, you may include some recipes. So you want that schema markup. You may have a book. You might want that schema markup. And you may have a video about the book. So you'd want video. So you would have three types of schema markup on there. And don't forget, it's basically just a piece of code that says this article is all about a product. And I have, let's say, a video. And again, you can see multiple ones here, and you can also in the pro version, customize some of your own schema so you can let it know that it may be a different functionality. Uh, it could be an affiliate product or it could be um, a, a concert or a, an event, something like that. And you could create your own schema markup for that. But the basic ones are here. Most of us are going to use this. It's either an article or it's either a product or it's either a video. That will be probably the main three that you will use. Now, if we go back to the article here, which is about a birdcage, you can see we've got the FAQ implemented on this page. And if we go have a look what that is, and we scroll to the bottom, you can see this section here, which is an FAQ. Now that has been installed by using the Gutenberg block. If we click add, you can see here, if we just typed FAQ, you can see FAQ rank math is a block inside Gutenberg, which makes it really easy for you to add FAQs. And again, if I click that, you can see there we could ask a question. Here we could give the answer. And here we could add an image. And the tool will insert the right schema markup for this to say to Google, hey, I've got a lovely article. It's tagged with the schema markup for article. It has a lovely video. It's got the video schema markup code in there. And I've also got an FAQ section at the bottom of my article answering lots of lovely questions. And again, this is the block in Rank Math using the Gutenberg block that would install the FAQ schema markup. Now, this one is very simple and it's again, it is free. But like I say, if you want to have multiple ones, you will need to purchase the Rank Math Pro version. Now, one last thing I want to show you in Rank Math, if we go back to the plugin itself, go to Rank Math, go to Schema Structure, we can set it to automatically insert some schema code for the most popular types of articles we have. So we can actually set it using these pages to automatically set each page to, let's say, an article.
And that is a very simple way of getting some schema markup on there for the majority of your posts. Another function with the rank math is we can automatically set it. So again, in the pro version, we can select some boxes that says which actual scheme markup you want to automatically insert on your post. And again, that can be multiple schema markups. But like I said, the basic version is there for you. Just make sure when you go to your post that you have activated the correct schema on your page, which in your case will be probably product or article and you can see here I've not done that so one of my first jobs will be to go through here and see which ones are actually correct you can see lots of them are mapped as article and that's absolutely fine but I do have probably 20% of all the articles in this website are product related and have some videos so I will be altering them to put the correct schema code inside those articles so there you go. I hope you like that. Like I say, I'm no affiliate to Rank Math whatsoever. I don't know, it's just one of the simplest ways that you could do this today. And it might just help tell Google what your content is all about and hopefully rank it higher. So thanks very much for joining me and I'll see you in the next video.